Saturday, January 23rd. Francis Ngannou, the heavyweight champion of the UFC. That's the baddest man on earth. Giants Francis Ngannou has arrived! He's one of the craziest stories in all of sports. The humblest beginnings in Cameroon to a brief stint as a homeless man in Paris. But he's the baddest man on the planet now. The new era has come. Who will save us? Oh my goodness! Francis Ngannou can finally call himself the greatest heavyweight in the world! Well, there is no doubt who is leading mixed martial arts in France. Enter... Saturday night. 
Man, I'm very excited basically because this is my first event since the uh, fan beats been back in the arena. So I'm gonna fight uh, in front of the crowd. And uh, just see the crowd right uh, here right now get me very excited. Let's go! Now, Francis, there's been a lot of talk in this lead, but now that Cyril is sitting next to you, can you say there is no bad blood and no personal issue between you, or have things got personal? As, I, as I've been saying all week, there is no bad blood between Cyril and I. Best, I have no personal problem with him at all. But still, we still have, we still have to fight Saturday night, and we're going to be there put on the show. Cyril, do you feel the same way about Francis, or is maybe some of the things he's saying in the lead-up getting to you? Yeah, 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 that's a little bit true. We are together excited about this fight, and this is a big chance for our country. I know you're from Cameroon, but you started in France, the same country as mine. So this is a real pleasure to represent our country. Now, that being said, Francis did say this week that he knocked you out in sparring, and then you went and said that didn't happen. So what, who's telling the truth? Can you repeat this, Francis? You, you went to the floor, Cyril. And then you lift the training. So, so, so can you explain exactly what, what's happening? Oh, you don't remember? Don't, don't tell to the people. Don't well, the people. Left, left high kick. Left high kick, and you, yeah. I'm not, you knocked me down. You went on the floor or not? I was on the floor. Oh, you don't remember. Oh. You're a liar. Sorry. So, he, so. He, was, he was knocked out, probably, because he doesn't remember. No, this is not the truth. Honestly, you know me already. With Francis, we did some sparring, and it was a really great sparring from Francis. And he did a beautiful it. left kick. And the problem with Francis is just, he don't like to, to spar, technical sparring. You like to make horror, and I told you a little bit a few times before. So you, you give me the left kick. You heard me. You see, I'm honest with you. You heard me. You heard me. But you don't knock me down. This is not a knock down. You didn't went down on the leg high, left high kicks, Yuri. Let's be honest. And you say I spar, I don't spar technical sparring. I spar with 155. -er. I spar with girls. And they don't complain. I mean, obviously it was a good sparring. He's not lying about that. But you went down on that. I mean, okay, I'm so sorry I, about I, that. I, 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 res I respect you, and I know, like, out of everybody not, here, you are the honest not. one, and I know you could have been real about that. You respect me? I do respect you, brother. You don't respect me in front of the people. You're lying. I'm lying. I, I sleeping after you left kick? Seriously. Connect me on the eyes. Okay. Honestly. I, I, don't, I don't have the tape, so I can't prove that. But the, that is, is somewhere on the okay, table. Okay, don't talk about that. I'm so sorry, we can sorry. talk about that a long time. Cyril, uh, if Francis is lying, why would you say he's lying? Because it's, it's not the truth. He okay. hurt me. I told you, did a beautiful left kick with too much horror. But you really don't knock me down. Exactly what, 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 what's happening is he hurt me. I was really surprised about the power. I told him a few times before, so I said, no worries, I want to jump again and in. And the coach said, no, 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 guy, stop it, stop it. You're gonna do, it. You're gonna do something wrong. So that's why we stopped it. This is the truth. Did you spot, do you stop sparring that day? Did you continue sparring? The question? Did you continue sparring that day? You didn't continue because the coach he didn't want that because I was a little bit disappointed about it. Did you walk out of the training, go to the, uh, go grab your back and leave the gym that day, sir? I don't know. Either, either way, but either way, that doesn't really matter because that was accidental. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to hurt him with a kick. It happened, but, and the only reason why you were here talking about that is the footage that you guys released then forced me to talk about it. I never talk about it because it was an accident. I didn't mean to hurt you. We were training. I was helping each other. So once again, I respect you. And then uh, I'm not lying. And Saturday, we're just going to fight. Right? All right. All right. Yes. Big brother. Last one for me for Dana. Dana, how much did this whole story add to the fight on Saturday? 
Well, I, I mean, listen, this whole story is a great story. But the most important thing, no matter who hit who, who did what, who doesn't like who, on Saturday night, the two biggest, baddest heavyweights in the world are going to fight, and all the questions will be answered. That's all that matters. Oh, what do you got? Question for Brandon Moreno, the champion. It's not a common scenario where you get your first title defense against an opponent that you've already faced two times prior to. Do you have extra confidence going into this fight a third time rather than fighting a fresh face? Let's go! Guys, man, so... Uh, what can I say, man? You know, it's, it's, it's crazy how they the life can go in the future, right? So when UFC uh, tell me about my next opponent, I was thinking about maybe uh, Pantoja, maybe Askar Askarov. Uh, Figueredo was saying I was like scared to give him the rematch. And in my mind, in my mind was like, man, relax. No, it's not that personal. Uh, but man, UFC say uh, Figueredo again, trilogy, and I say, let's go, and that's it. A huevo, perro! Question for Dana. Your flyweight champion, Brandon Moreno, he was cut from the UFC before coming back and becoming the champion. Can you foresee a situation where you have a guy that's cut, comes back, and becomes the champion of the UFC again, like this man right here? Uh, we need to talk about it. What's that? We need to talk about that. I'm so sad. No, no it's an incredible story. This kid's got got heart, determination, he always believed in himself, he knew he was going to be a world champion someday, and now he's sitting up here with the belt in front of him, and defending his title. Obviously, he took this fight very serious. He's an absolute dog, and for the warrior's heart. And I know we have to wait to see how it plays out, but can you envision us where we get a fourth fight, which has never happened before? I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> Go ahead. And, and Brendan, Michael Bisping said it best. You are the most happy man within five weeks. And honestly, your energy is intoxicating, even from a distance. And it makes me think, like, man, like, how do you switch? Like, how do you switch from being this humble, lovely, jovial man who seemingly <laughs> wouldn't even hurt a fly into a straight killer? Man, like, what's the process? Um, wow, man, it's a, it's a nice question. Until right now, to be honest with you. I don't know, man, you know, so it's funny because my...
Yeah, it's Traira. Yeah, motherfucker. I'm going to knock you out. Oh. So fresh, você foi obrigado. Para o México! Que Com seu cinturão de Legos! What the fuck? <laughs> muito amor. We gotta go back to oh, Mexico. Você passa de verga. Uh, you got another one? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, Cyril, how important is it for you to mix it up on Saturday night? Like, obviously, we know your footwork, your range management, they're all gonna be quintessential aspects to your strategy. But nobody's really talking about takedowns, wrestling, jiu-jitsu. How prepared are you to take it to that level with Francis on Saturday night? This is, another, this is a fight like my former's fight. I, I, I work a lot, I improve a lot on my, on my strength, and I'm going to impose my tempo. And, uh, and after that, we will see, but everybody knows already, I'm well rounded, so everything is possible. Very cool. Uh, uh, just one for you, my man. With all the crypto mania happening at the moment, I was very happy to see that the UFC have now released their NFT collection. I was just wondering if basically you could elaborate a little bit on what the collection is and why it's such an exciting opportunity for UFC fans <laughs> around the world. Well, I appreciate the, uh, the lob up uh, plug here, but <laughs> I'd rather talk about fights right now. But yes, the NFTs are out and thank you, sir. Uh, if you want to get together later and talk about it, I'd love to. But, I'd uh, love to. Thank you. Let's David. talk fights right now. Thanks, brother. Yes, sir. It's for the champion, Brando Moreno, but I will make it in Spanish. Yes, sir. Toda la raza que vino a apoyar al campeón. Brando, yes, sir. antes de la pelea, Dana White dijo que si ganabas, ibas a explotar en México. Y explotaste en un continente entero. Sos el embajador de Latinoamérica. ¿Cómo te sienta esa presión para la pelea? Brent, Brandon, uh, before the last fight, Dana said that if you won, you were going to blow up in Mexico. How do you feel to be such a famous guy and an ambassador to fight in Mexico? Boss, we did it. We did it. I mean, we need to do more, but we're in a good, in a good way, all right? Just believe in me, a little bit. Carnal, híjole. O sea, mira esto. O sea, yo siento tanto el cariño, o sea, Aprecio muchísimo el apoyo que estoy recibiendo en este momento, lo que va a ser la locura de la arena el próximo sábado. La vez pasada pasó eso, explotó en México literal. Yo creo que después de esta victoria la vamos a reventar durísimo más y creo que estamos haciendo cosas chidas para el país. Eh, las artes marciales mixtas de México van a crecer muchísimo más y creo que esta cartelera es la prueba de ello. O sea, mis compañeros van a pelear conmigo. O sea, imagínate eso. Cuatro personas del, mis, del mismo gimnasio en México, de Entram Gym. ¿Quién hubiera pensado en eso hace cuatro o cinco años atrás? Entonces, eso me pone bien contento y, y veo al futuro así. Yo voy a hacer você voltar todo quebrado para México, você va a ver. Man, I'm very happy for the support. I'm very happy for the love. We said we we're going to do it. We did it. And look, if we talked about this four or five years ago, they were going to have it. I trained with him and he was rude to get your head. Can you tell me about I trained with Harry Cejudo to take your head. <laughs> Just translate. But we uh, did it. We, we have four people from the same gym. We never thought this was going to happen four or five years ago. And we're doing great things, not just for MMA, but for no, Mexico. No, so we're, no, gonna, we're gonna blow no. up even more. I trained in a academy that knows the best of your game. I mapped your game. And I'm going to knock out your game. You'll see. You'll see. You'll see. I trained in a gym that has mapped your game. Well, I have you mapped. I'm going to knock you out, man. You're going to see it. Man, what can I say, brother? 
I mean, I, I, don't, I don't have words for that. I mean, that is so fake. Man, just relax, man. Enjoy the moment. I mean, enjoy the people. I know right? you're weak. I know you're throw up. I know you're throw up after you're praying. Blah, 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 I know you're weak. I know you throw up after you're praying. So frouxo. You're weak, man. 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 man. I know you are making, I mean, you destroy the image of Henry, and now you are destroying the image of this guy. I know you love attention, man, and, man, I mean, take the attention for you. So, uh, brother, I mean, fuck, man. I left your face full of my, of my elbows, and I'm not going to actually rip it off. Now. Man, really believe that this works? I mean, in serio, you think this is working with me? I'm also, stop. You really think this is working on me, man? Você acha que tá funcionando falar desse jeito com ele? Eu sei que tá funcionando. Eu sei, ele sabe que eu falo a verdade. Ele sabe que eu não tava bem na segunda luta. A primeira eu lutei com ele doente. Eu bati nesse cara, tiraram um ponto de empate. Man, while talking about the second match, quando eu não tava bem. Agora você vai ver, tô saudável. Vou bater esse peso muito bem. We can talk about the first one. Você o primeiro peso amanhã. This guy was awesome there, but the second one. Good luck with that one. What happened there? I know it's working. I know I'm getting in his head. He talks about well, the first fight. Everybody knows I was sick before the fight, and the second fight, I wasn't making weight. Tomorrow, you can ride. Thinking wait the tomorrow, everything's gonna be all right. Concentrated. It's all with the same excuses, 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 excuses everywhere. Desculpinha, Man, desculpinha, desculpinha. Stop, please. Para, cara. Eu vou curtir meu casamento lá no México com a minha mulher depois dessa luta, depois dessa vitória com o dinheiro dele. After this fight, I'm just gonna enjoy my my wedding, my marriage with my wife in Mexico with the money that I'm making off of you. Carnal. Por favor, ve a México. Es un lugar bien bonito de ir, güey. Es un lugar bien bonito de visitar, güey. Te lo mereces, carnal. Please, man, come to Mexico. It's a beautiful place to visit. Please, by all means, come to Mexico and visit. <laughs> all right, go ahead. Next question right here. One more. The last one for the former champ. Eh, Davidson, você perdeu para o José Formiga e voltou muito mais forte com cinco vitórias seguidas. Você sente o mesmo naquela ocasião? Você sente que vai voltar mais forte para essa luta? For the former champion, you actually lost to Formiga in the past, and you came back with five straight wins. Do you feel kind of the same thing that you're coming back with a vengeance? É por isso que o Breno Moreno tá com medo de mim, porque ele sabe que eu vou voltar mais forte. Ele sabe que eu sou incrível quando eu volto de derrota. E ele sabe disso que eu vou nocautear. Eu venho para te nocautear, viu? Eu venho para rasgar tua cara, seu levo bitch. That's why Brendan is scared of me. He knows I come back with a vengeance off a loss, and I can come back stronger. He knows this. I'm going to knock Wait, him out. Who the hell has fear? Who the hell has fear of you? Nobody has fear of you, man. Nobody. O sea, a lo mucho tu mamá cuando la te la neta nadie quiere ver tu mamá allá atrás. Una mariquinha. I'm sure you're going to you're going to puke when you go back there. Hermano, ah no le la Simón. Go ahead, honey. Yeah. Okay. Question for Davison. So I'm hearing that you have your own entrance song, Let's Get Biggie with it, leading into Saturday. Can you elaborate more on what went behind that decision? David's song? For Davidson? Yes. David's song. Está dizendo que você tem uma nova música para entrar. Agora, ele gostaria de saber... Como é que essa música e de onde é que veio essa essa nova ideia? One moment. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, I don't know. I don't know. Literally. It's okay. Right now. It's okay. I don't know what happened right now. Ah. Vai tocar. Oh. Wi-Fi, oh, right Eric. Wi-Fi. We need Wi-Fi right now, Eric. Yeah. Right so this is for both champions, <laughs> for Brandon and Francis. Uh, 
for France and Francis with all the animosity leading into this fight and how much it meant for you to win the title. Would defending your title be more meaningful to you than when you won it? Maybe yes, you know. Francis is a really nice guy. I mean, I love this guy. I mean, we are like all day in the PI, talking times, doing our own workouts. So, it's, man, it's amazing to share the, the, the car with him. I'm a little bit disappointed because my face is not in the official poster. But it's fine, okay? Next time. This guy likes to love a woman. He's strange, guy. He loves to love oh, women, man. He's weird, man. And for Francis, would it be more meaningful to you to defend your title than when you won it? Everyone is meaningful, whether it's for a uh, fight for the uh, place in the ranking or be it become a champion or defending it. Every step on the way is meaningful. So you have to take everything seriously. It's one step after another. That's how we build buildings. Very well said. And also, this morning, da uh, Dapper Labs launched UFC Strike, and there's a report that you're a brand ambassador. Can you elaborate more on what your fans can expect from you? Yes, uh, Dapper Lab is a new plat an NFT platform that you can go there and collect the UFC moment, so such as a great knockout, uh, some of my knockouts against Alistair Overeem and others, you can go there and own that moment. So it's finally on for fans who can, uh, who want to own those moments, they can go there and have it. Thank you. This one uh, is for Brandon out to your right. Brandon, I, I keep seeing your team, they have this boom box, this radio. It's amazing, man, it's can a nice boom box. What, what, can you explain what the significance is of this boom box? Man, the music, it's, I mean, the music is part of the, of, the, of the team. I mean, I love singing, it's, it's funny because all the, Te rifaste macizo, perro! Man, I think that is the answer. Olha com a música de garota dele aí, pô. That is the answer, man, you know? We have the rhythm. Uh, and then... Baby, me. cry! Oh, my goodness. Just question for, uh, for Davison. Obviously, uh, this is a, a crowd that is very in favor of Moreno. Do you like this? Do you, do you like getting booed? Do you kind of like the hostility? Padre, você, Davidson. É, é, obviamente, essa torcida aqui é toda por Brandon. Você gosta de ser um vilão, de ter essa torcida contra? Eu gosto de ser o vilão, cara. Eu sou o vilão. Eu sou o vilão que vai arrancar a cabeça do mocinho. Você espera, safado. O que vai acontecer com você? I, I love to be the villain. I like to rip off the head of the good guy, of the hero. You just wait. I'm going to... You know I'm gonna do to you. I'm a hero. I'm agree with that. I'm agree with that. All right. And for Francis, uh, real quick, I know obviously you're focused on Cyril Gunn. Uh, there's a guy, John Jones, who's coming up to heavyweight. Have you thought about this fight at all? Have you thought about that super fight with John Jones if you win? No, I'm I'm done with that fight. I, I I've been waiting waiting that fight for so long. After Stipe, he's supposed to be John Jones, and uh, that never happened. I don't know. Why? So I'll move on. Fair enough. Last one for Dana. You got a sold out crowd on Saturday, a big crowd here. Fighters from Mexico, Cameroon, France, and Brazil. Not, even, not, not an American born fighter on the dais and the crowd like this. How cool is this for the UFC? Yeah, no, I mean, it's, I say it all the time. We're, we're, we're very international business now. I, I think there's only three American champions in the UFC right now. So, yeah, no, it's awesome. It's incredible. It's what we always dreamed of. Thank you. Francis, right here. Francis, you've had so many amazing knockouts in your career. What would it mean to you to add one more, especially to defend your title and against a former teammate? Rectification is not a former teammate. Okay. But he, he will be great to train with, to uh, have one more knockout on my record. And basically, if it's a very spectacular one, then you can find that on the NFT, on Double Up. <laughs> so, uh, just sorry, sorry, my man. I was not your former teammate. How, how long we trained together, Siri? No, okay, all right. We don't talk about the longer, but we spar together because we're from the exact same team. 
How long we trained together? I was, I was based in the U.S. already. No, we was not a friend. That's true. But you was a former teammate. How long we trained together? You did maybe two camp or three maybe. Two camp? Remember very well, January 2019, when you have to fight in Canada, and I was coming from Cameroon, going to Phoenix to fight Ken Velasquez. We trained about three months. We have about six sessions of uh, training. And I wasn't in the gym anymore. I was here in Vegas. I was just coming there. Am I right or am I wrong? Yeah, you, that, that, that's right. But for me, when you train at the same gym with the guy. Okay. Okay, so we have to redefine the meaning of teammate. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Cyril, I have a question for you as well. Cyril, at the end of the day, your coach worked for a long time with Francis Ngannou. Is that the secret weapon in this fight? Yeah, this is put something a little bit special for this fight because we, we was born exactly with the same coach. So that's why I'm really happy. I'm really proud uh, of this fight. And, uh, and uh, I can't wait. I can't wait. It's going to be a little bit hard for my coach because even all the story you, you can hear this last time, um, he was a real friend before that. A real friend before that. So it's going to be hard for my coach. Trust me. Final question for Brandon Moreno. Brandon, you know that the Mexican people are here and they are ready to see a war on Saturday. Is that what you're going to give them? Amen. Let's go! <laughs> man, I, I'm excited, man. I'm excited. This, this, I think it's a little taste on what uh, can happen next Saturday. Um, uh, and that's it, man. You know, I feel all the love right now. I feel all the uh, positive energy. And right now is the most important thing for me, like feeling really good for, next, for, for this Saturday. For Davison and for Brandon, after the fight, will there be respect? Will we shake hands and will the rivalry be over? Para você, Davidson, e também para o pro, pro, pro Brandon. Depois da luta, haverá respeito entre vocês? Você vai é, dar um aperto de mão para ele? Continue o respeito? Vou dar um cinturão de Lego para ele depois da luta. E vou lá dentro do México dar porrada nele, porque eu sou mais mexicano que ele. I'm going to give him a Lego made belt and oh, it's uh, all, man, I'm going to go I'm going to go to Mexico and beat him up over there as well. And I saw the last one and it's so freaking ugly man. I don't need the Lego uh, Lego belt from you. Thank you so much. But Go ahead sir. What do you man, get? man, you know I have too much respect for this um, it's it's weird it's because right now it's the animosity is a little bit hard right now. But I have uh, respect for this guy. Man. It's, about, it's about my it's about legacy right now. Porra. I mean, anybody yeah. cares about what he's saying right now, but, you know. Mexico has great comidas I mean, he's never personal, never personal for me. Never personal for me. If he, he wants to change with me after the fight, yeah. I'm Depois open on that. Depois que você está com a porrada, seu safado. Se eu trair, tu trair o sorriso serrudo. É. You're a traitor, the Harry Sir. Agora traiu ele. You tra you, you traitor. Vou te encher de porrada sábado. Você vai ver o que vai acontecer com você. And I'm gonna beat your ass on man. Saturday and see it up. Man, I don't have nothing more to say, man. I don't have nothing more to say. Go ahead, sir. Francis, Francis, ici. Voilà. Question en, en français, s'il te plaît. Two questions in uh, French. Au regard de ce que la France t'a apporté, puis c'est vrai qu'au début de, de votre carrière, vous aviez souvent, dans, lors de vos entrées, le drapeau camerounais et le drapeau français. Euh, que vous avez perdu par la suite, mais ma question c'était tout simplement de, de savoir, au regard de tout ce que la France vous a apporté au début de votre carrière dans le MMA, est-ce qu'on peut dire que samedi c'est un peu un combat franco-français pour ce championnat du monde Regarding all what France brought uh, to you. Moi, je te retournerai la question parce que. Go ahead, sir. Regarding what France brought to you, at the time you had the Cameroonian flag and the French flag, uh, will it be of, between of France and France? Je te retournerai la question parce que, euh, selon certains de vos articles, j'ai été, été présenté comme Camerounais. Ah, Et oui. récemment, je n'ai pas. Je ne porte pas régulièrement de drapeau, donc je ne sais pas. Euh, je, je, je ne sais pas si à un moment vous avez eu l'impression que j'ai délaissé ça, mais je ne porte pas de drapeau. 
et je ne je suis pas contre reconnaissant pour euh, ce que le, la France m'a euh, apporté euh, derrière en tant que combattant surtout et bon, ça me dit je combattrai en tant que Français ou Camerounais, c'est ça la question I am, I am returning the question to you. Uh, I don't carry a flag. I am grateful for what uh, France brought to me. Et de, de, dernière question. Euh, ce combat, c'est quelque chose d'étrange, certainement, de se dire qu'il y aura le coin de votre adversaire, celui qui, entre guillemets, vous a tout appris. Il est juste au premier rang. Euh, Fernand Lopez, c'est compliqué de se dire que face à soi, on a un combattant, Cyril Gann, très fort, et aussi un entraîneur qui vous connaît des pieds à la tête. Non, uh, pas du pied, pas du... Uh, Est-ce que dans le coin de votre opponent, il y aura un coach, le one qui vous a entraîné Est-ce que c'est étrange Non, ce ne serait pas du tout compliqué, déjà, euh, parce qu'il ne me connaît pas du pied à la tête. La preuve, on se séparait, je n'étais pas champion du monde. J'ai perdu le championnat du monde et je suis revenu ici. Aujourd'hui, je suis champion du monde. Donc, il y a une grosse différence entre le Francis de ce jour et le Francis d'aujourd'hui. It won't be too complicated because he doesn't know me from head to toe. Uh, I lost the championship. It won't be the same Francis. Thank you. Good. Thank you, sir. What do you got, buddy? Question for Francis. Hey, three French TV dinner here, so big, huh? just to let Thank you know. You. Thank you. Francis, um, I know you built a relationship with uh, Mike Tyson. He won 22 fights within the first round. You've said quite a few times, I'm tired of winning just 500K. Wouldn't the answer to make a gang load of money on Saturday to win within two minutes? No. I don't put uh, time on my fight. You know, uh, once I did that, it didn't work. It didn't go well for me. So now I kind of like stay calm, collected, and wait for the opportunity. Obviously, I would like to have the knockout earlier. But if he come, if he comes later in the fight, I will still take it as long as I'm uh, fighting like very uh, securely and don't expose myself. You just rewrote the entire storytelling to go. We, we thought, and Cyril said, you guys were former teammates. All of a sudden, you tell us, I was not a teammate. I just can't visit. Can you rephrase that? Because the entire storytelling says, you guys are former teammates. Yes, that was back in 20, 2019 that we trained together. And you can ask him, I moved in Vegas back uh, in 2017. April 2017, I officially moved to Vegas. So I just went back in France stopping by for a month, then we trained together, but I still come back, I came back to Vegas. MMA so Factory, you brainwashed that out of your system? MMA Factory does not exist anymore? What do you mean? Do you, you don't, you don't recall MMA Factory in your process anymore? Of course I do recall that, but I wasn't in the MMA Factory, that's what I'm meaning, as now I'm not in the MMA Factory. Do you get that? I get that. Good. What a guy, right? Go ahead. <laughs> what Edana. a guy. Edana, first question is for you. Can you tell me why did you choose this date and this place for the title of the baddest man in the world? Of course, we got Moreno against Figueredo with a Latina crowd. But I was thinking maybe in front of the NFL weekend. It's a pretty busy weekend. And we would have loved to have it in Paris. What was the thought process of choosing this place instead of Paris? Well, we, we haven't been back here in two and a half years and maneuvering around the world is still, still tough with Omicron going on. So, uh, you know, California was a no-brainer. Question for Cyril. I'm going to ask it in French and then in English. Comment tu prends cette conférence de presse, Cyril On a l'impression que Francis, aujourd'hui, il t'a pris un petit peu comme son petit, comme on dit en France. Euh, il a vraiment voulu imposer un petit peu son pouvoir et celui de champion du monde. Today, Francis really took you like his kid. He wanted to impose to you his world title. How do you feel about that? Uh, il dit souvent qu'il me respecte, mais aujourd'hui, j'ai vraiment l'impression qu'il ne me respecte pas. Dans un premier temps, il dit que je n'ai jamais été de sa team. Dans un deuxième temps, il dit qu'il a fait quelque chose qu'il n'a pas fait, je le répète. Et dans un troisième temps, il manque aussi un peu de respect à son ancien coach quand il dit qu'il a perdu euh, la ceinture la première fois face à Steve.
le, le, il a fait une demande pour euh, refaire son camp contre Curtis Blade et il a gagné ce combat-là. Donc je pense vraiment qu'on qu lui a apporté euh, pas mal de choses. Et aujourd'hui, j'ai l'impression qu'il n'a pas vraiment cette reconnaissance-là, même si parfois de sa bouche, euh, on sort le contraire. Il dit qu'il respecte moi, mais je pense qu'il ne respecte pas. Il ne respecte pas son ancien coach, je pense qu'il nous a apporté beaucoup de choses. Il a dit aussi que Miosic, il a dit aussi que Miosic, c'était justement son combat le plus difficile. Euh, et que finalement, toi, ce serait quelque part euh, un combat facile. Comment t'appréhendes ça Il a dit que Miosic était son plus grand combat, son plus dur combat, et avec toi, ça serait très facile. Comment tu te sens de ça Encore une fois, ça confirme bien qu'il n'a pas trop de respect pour moi. Je ne sais pas trop si c'est un jeu ou pas. Euh, dans tout... Je pense que si je suis là aujourd'hui, c'est qu'il y a une bonne raison. C'est que j'ai prouvé que je pouvais être là, c'est que j'ai gagné et je me suis entraîné. Et je mérite ma place. Donc demain, j'espère qu'il va me prendre au sérieux et j'espère qu'on va faire un bon combat. Monsieur, why do you read that when I say Siri is a pretty easy fight? I mean, no, I didn't, I didn't I'm very say, confused. I, I didn't say it was a pretty easy fight. That's what you say. I no, said that. I said Siri is an easier fight than Miosic. No, you say I said, said that. Yes, why did said. you say that? That Miosic was your toughest fight. Yes, but did I say Siri is an easy fight? Did I ever say some fight is an easy fight? Tell me about it. That's what it says. Where? Did Tell I me. say that? Because that's what you just say. I'm just quoting you. So I repeat and rephrase. When you say Miosic is the toughest fight, that means the other fights are easier. Toughest, toughest, meaning toughest, tough than others. Toughest, meaning others are tough, but someone is toughest. There's not an easy fight, my friend. If you ever fight in your life, you will know that there's not an easy fight. So, so please. Very accurate when you ask question, unless Perfect. you have something in mind when you have what that you want to say. So I'm sorry about the way that I asked the question. So now let me ask you one question because to me it's very important. <laughs> it's funny because now I look like the bad guy to you, and my question is gonna go to your sense. So listen to me. Wait a second, Francis. Wait a second, listen to me. Go ahead, sir. What's your question? I'm pretty impressed with the way you act today. When, I came, when, I, when you came to the podium, I saw somebody with the dress code, with the punchline, with the attitude. Right now, it's like you look like the champion of the world. Is it important to you to have all those codes Going to the States, to Las Vegas, did that help you to learn all those codes? Do, doing what? <laughs> Coming to the States. Venir aux Etats-Unis. Est-ce que ça t'a aidé à apprendre les codes? Going to the States, did it teach you those codes? I don't know, you tell me. I'm asking you the question. Yes, can I... You, can yes. you answer? Yes, I do feel that. I feel that. Siguiente. He Good. said yes. Okay, Siguiente. thank you. <laughs> I'm going to take one more question. Go ahead, brother. What do you got? I have one question for you, Dana. Yep. Um, I, I was asking um, about um, French. But now that the MMA is legal in France, but you already answered the, that question. But the other question is, Uh, why the UFC um, don't make the choice to come to Africa to make a big event? It could be uh, one of the biggest events in the sports for Africa. With French Good question, my brother. <laughs> Thanks. Why did we what? Uh, why haven't we? I've been, I've been saying for the last two years, we absolutely want to. Uh, apparently, you guys that live in France don't know the shit that's going on around here right now. <laughs> Uh, the world is a very tough place to navigate through right now. I mean, getting into New York and getting into California are, are massive, you know, wins right now. Um, the, the minute we can start traveling to other countries, we're, we're going to, you know, you saw that they just pulled the mask mandate away in, in the UK. So yes. that's starting to loosen up a bit. Looks like we're going to give that a shot and try to go to the UK. And believe me, the minute we can go to France and the minute we other parts of the world, We'll be first. We'll be there before anybody. Thank you, Dana.
Thank you, sir. Thank you guys for coming out today. We appreciate you. I'm going to square these guys off for photo ops. Eu vou quebrar a cara do Bruno.